Hello folks, welcome to the channel. This is DoorDash Sucks here on YouTube. And I just wanted to re do a, a short reporting on what I've seen today so far for um, for the, the strike, okay? So a lot of us are striking, right? But here's the thing. I had nothing better to do than do a few errands and go around certain places. And I got to tell you folks, there's a lot of people still door dashing and still doing Uber and Lyft. I went to Logan Airport in Boston. I wish I had video and pictures to show you, but I went into the the uh, the rideshare, you know, garage to see who was in there, and all you could see is wall to wall drivers driving. And I, I'm sorry to report this, but that's just the uh, the fact of the matter, folks. Um, and I, you know, here's the deal. <clears throat> There's millions of drivers, or I, I don't know the exact count of how many drivers there are, and there's all new type of drivers coming on. So not everyone's going to know about the strike. Um, and I got to be honest, I don't even know how much it's really going to do at this point, um, because if people are driving and then there's some that are not, the way Pedro Doordash Santiago said it, it was like, well, that's just an excuse for people to make more money that they normally wouldn't make because the drive for the lack of drivers there are that'll just mean that the drivers who are out there are going to make up the uh the slack on it and unfortunately we don't we're not in solidarity unfortunately and rideshare professor is, is right about a lot of things a lot of these channels are, i i'm right about what i'm telling you you know try to not work if you can but um i want to thank each and every one of you for trying but at this point you know, these companies, too, have grown way too big, folks. They've they've just become monsters. And they knew what they were doing. They knew what they they were doing by hiring, over-hiring people, putting too many part-timers uh, in the mix. You know, I know a lot of people were hoping for better wages, better things, and this and that. But the only way to hurt them and hit them is really in court and sue them as much as you can if we had more people suing these companies they'd think twice about what they're doing although the courts are kind of controlled in america here it depends where you are if you live outside the country if you're in canada england wherever you know but unfortunately to report today folks i went to logan airport into the rideshare area and i saw dozens upon dozens of cars picking up even over at the uber pool I should have videotaped it. I wish I had. But, I mean, trust me when I tell you, there's a lot of people driving today, okay, around, especially around this Boston area that I was in today. Um, so that's what I want to report. I don't know how it is in your area. I mean, it was weird. By happenstance, I just happened to be in the area, and I said, you know what, let me take a ride through and see what's going on. So it isn't like they, they have a lack of drivers, folks. It's just that half of the drivers who are in the wor workforce decided to do the strike, and the other half said, F it, and I'm going to work. So I don't really, I mean, I really don't think we're going to accomplish anything. I mean, will they have some sort of shortage for the day overall? Yeah, they probably will, because some people that wouldn't work, you know, it may, it may be a little harder, but I don't think it's really... I mean, I'm all for strikes, and I'm doing it myself, but but I think that overall, I don't really think it's going to graze the surface. I think we have to come at them at another angle. I mean, that's just my take. What do you guys think? Could you please write in the comments in your area if you saw any drivers driving or are you out about in town? I mean, you should look around in your area and report maybe maybe do a video on where you are to see if people are working i'm sure it's going to be the same answer that i just gave you people are just ignoring striking and some people can't even afford to some people are like well screw it but see we're 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 screwing ourselves the whole community is screwing themselves i mean it's terrible folks terrible what's going on anyways that's all i got for you for this video Please hit the subscription button, the like button, the notification bell so you won't miss any other videos. And uh, stick around for some other videos that might come forward in the next few days to a week. I uh, appreciate each and every one of you, especially if you came over from Rideshare Professor's channel. And uh, let's try to stick together and do the right thing. But I don't think it's even going to graze a dent in their, uh, 
in their 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 business folks <laughs> because when i saw all those rideshare drivers riding they're not striking they're picking up passengers you know it sucks anyways thanks for uh listening and i'll see you guys and gals on the next one take care